Good morning, afternoon, or evening, my lovely, lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, and Channel fans. It's Lori, and I'm here to do a new love reading. Who is the next new love coming into your life? We're going to find out why you haven't found them yet, what might be blocking you, what you can do to remove those blocks, how you might meet this person, where you might meet them. Also, we'll give you some characteristics to give you ideas of what they might look like or how you can recognize them. And we'll look to see if there's um, anything of importance that you may need to know about this person, like red flags or important um, aspects of their life that will be key in who they date, okay? We'll also take a look at what months um, may be of importance to the relationship and what is the biggest benefit to this relationship? Success, happiness, love, marriage, so on and so forth. All right, so grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's enjoy this new love reading here. All right, now keep in mind, new love could actually be a job, something good coming in for you, okay? I am focusing on a new love romantic relationship for you. So that's what we will uh, talk about. All right, let us go ahead. We will roll the zodiac die to see what signs might be popping up for you. Libra, you have very strong cancer energy here, Scorpio energy, a lot of water. There's Aries and Virgo, Gemini and Aquarius energy showing for you guys. All right, you ladies and gentlemen, I should say. Okay, let's go ahead and lay this out. So let's get the six key cards. And I will clarify as we go along. All right. So let's get these out here. There we go. And let us begin. On the bottom of the deck, I do want to say you've got the Four of Wands, so something could lead to marriage, a success, successful relationship here. All right, so the first question is, why have you not actually found your true love yet? What is blocking you? The Page of Earth, the messenger. Yes, the Page of Earth. I'm hearing that you are too focused on something else, um, making money, your career. You're not focused on love. So this may be what's holding you back here. Um, maybe some of you feel like you don't have enough money to go out and meet new people. That's uh, uh, We need to rethink that. We need to revisit that thought. Okay, because that's a lack mentality. Even if you don't have money to go spend on eating out or doing things that cost money. There's plenty of places to meet new people and have a relationship with them without spending a lot of money, okay? There's parks, there's places to just go and visit, be outside, um, visiting with each other, sitting outdoors, okay? I mean, there's so many ways that you can spend time together with somebody without spending much money at all. So it's going to have to be a change in how you, okay, some of how you view meeting new people. Some of you may be thinking that the only place to meet people is on a dating site. That's not right. That's not true. The most likely and most compatible place that you are going to find somebody that's right for you would be in a place where you have similar interests. So if you like being outdoors and you like maybe just sitting on the riverbank fishing, you may meet somebody else randomly per se um, who enjoys the same thing. And I don't care if you're male or female. I've got a good friend from New York. She absolutely loves fishing and she's very good at it. So, hey, Sarah, you go girl. Um, but if you like to be outdoors where it doesn't cost you money, you like to hike, you like to bike, you like to walk, okay? You like doing all these outdoor things. Maybe you like to play basketball. There's basketball courts in every city park. Um, there's always places to meet people that you like. Now, the other thing I'm hearing here is 
you do, you have a routine. Okay, you've got a routine that's so set in stone that you're never going to meet new people unless somehow um, you step out of that routine in the middle of it. Okay, so what you have to do here, if that is you, if you're resonating with that, go to a different grocery store, drive home from work or walk home from work in a different direction. Do something different. If you keep doing the same thing all the time, you aren't likely to meet something new or different, a person, anything. So maybe shop at a different grocery store and, you know, you don't have to commit to it for the rest of your life. If you go to that grocery store and you don't like the grocery store, you can always try another new one, okay, until you find something. If you don't normally go to a meat market to buy your meats, maybe that's something different that you do. I just found a wonderful Greek place by me. Has changed my life. So just that little change has brought in some really good benefits to me. That's what Spirit is saying here. Some of you are just kind of stuck in routines or um, have negative thoughts about how to meet people or what a actual good relationship would require, okay? You don't have to start your relationship off putting yourself in financial debt. And you don't need to hold yourself at home. You're not going to meet anyone sitting on the couch, are you? You have to get out there and meet and explore and learn and try. So that may be what's blocking you. All right, what can you do? We've already talked about a few things that you can do. But if you have a mental block, what can you possibly do here? Look at this, Ace, the Ace of Pentacles. This was the Page of Pentacles, okay? A new start. Look at things differently. Lay a solid foundation. Have clear intentions about what it is you are looking for. Oh, that's missing from here too. That's what's missing here. You have to know what it is you're seeking before you can find it, correct? And you know what I love? <clears throat> we know we all want love. And that's the best way to put it. We want love. <laughs> What's happening for some of you is you're getting love from all the wrong things, not the type of love that you want. And I don't mean that they're wrong for you. Absolutely not. They're good for you. I'm getting images of, of you guys, some of you, Finding love from animals. These animals are just flocking to you. Dogs, cats, birds, squirrels, all kinds of animals are flocking to you. And you do derive pleasure from encountering these things. However, you're looking for romantic love, right? Not, not just like this. The other thing I'm hearing is that some of you are receiving love from friends who could develop into more than just a friend but you're just you're you're not even acknowledging this friendly love that's coming to you you might be like oh okay yeah they're cool to hang out with once a month but it, there might be more to that person so if you have somebody around you that maybe is a newer friend and new energy um take a closer look at that don't look at them as being a romantic partner, but spending more time with that person may develop into something different. If you don't really know somebody, you can't know if they're right for you or not. <clears throat> this is laying a solid foundation here, okay? And if you start at the beginning, just start at the beginning and take it easy and one step at a time with no preconceived ideas of what the relationship is going to be, but you develop each relationship you encounter, those things are going to remove blockages from you, okay? Let's see how or where, I'm going to count both of these cards as how or where you might meet your person. All right, so you have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Queen of Water here. All right, so what I'm hearing and seeing with these cards, Carnival, festival, um, an, um, you know, what do you call that? A planetary, a night stargazing. Someplace where it's peaceful, it's calm, it's meant to be like a meditative place. Some place of deep awe, respect, love, compassion. Could be a church. I'm getting fire ceremonies, um, 
places where you relieve the challenges of life, yoga classes, Reiki sessions. Um, but I feel like most of these are places of group activity. So even though you may be there for a spa treatment, they may have yoga classes or, or, or other classes, and that is probably where you might meet this person. Again, I am getting um, stargazing here. Oh, there's a, a thing called, oh, there's an event. Where does this happen? Somewhere in the Smoky Mountains. Blue Ridge Mountains, I believe. I'm sorry, Blue Ridge Mountains, where they do dragonfly, or not dragonfly, firefly viewing. I believe that's midsummer, July or August, somewhere around there. But literally you go out at night just, you know, um, just before dusk and you sit there and you wait for all the fireflies to light up and it's magical. And I do see you, some of you meeting that way. Some sort of nighttime event where there's stars, there's fireflies, there's outdoor lights, um, aurora borealis. So something with a night sky is crucial here. Now, like I said, the planetary, uh, planetarium could play a big part in this. I'm seeing caverns. I feel like she's living, she's inside of a cave here. Forest. Aurora Borealis is coming through very strongly right now. A magical place keeps coming through. A, a, like a natural, magical place. Botanical gardens just came through. So something outdoors, okay? I don't see this being something very expensive, but even if it is, it is going to be worth the money to see this, all right, to do this, to take part in this. Um, again, I keep getting a place of meditation, of peace, of awe, of wonder, of enlightenment, something that makes you feel really, really good. It like um, soul, heart, pumping, okay? It's not like fast-paced action. No, this is more like that connection where you're finally like, oh my gosh, your heart starts racing because you know you have found it. You have connected to something here. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> All right, so this is, let's see, that's mostly where, how, I mean, obviously um, the encounter can be coming in out of a dark place. So if you were out in the night sky and you enter a building, you might be slightly blinded by the indoor lights. Um, you may literally bump into somebody. They may be the person who flips the lights on. They may say something to you that turns a light on inside of you. Um, there could be a water feature around this. We do have like water, a reflection. I'm getting, oh, Disney did a, the oriental lanterns there on the water. I never got to catch it. I'm, I wanted to see that so bad. Um, but anyways, I'm seeing something like that. The releasing of the uh, paper lanterns where you make um, wishes. I keep getting images of outdoor places of serenity, peace, but other people are there. So it's meant to be a, like a community um, place. All right. I do feel strongly it's going to be an emotional connection as soon as you meet them. Like a switch goes off. Something lights up inside of you. A sense of peace falls over you. Um, a sense of calm that maybe you were not feeling just a few minutes prior to meeting this person. Yeah, I keep getting an image of coming in from a dark place, going out to where there might be more light and not quite being able to see clearly. And you literally bump into or like you just touch even like you've got your hand out to find your way a little bit and maybe you touch this person and they turn around and you're like oh excuse me and they're like oh and a connection is made like you start talking to each other and no expectation it's very calm it's very nice beautiful okay <clears throat> 
let's see how you might recognize this person. <laughs> You're going to feel like you were meant to meet them. The Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat here. All right. So the Wheel of Fortune. This feels destined, faded. I am also getting, um, you may meet them at a circus. Uh, something out under the sky, the night sky. Um, okay. How might you recognize them? What type of characteristics? They're going to appear to be a very lucky person, very fortunate person. Like they have no worries in the world. They're carefree. They feel good. Um, they put off a really positive aura. If something negative is said, they kind of ha ha and turn it around into something more positive. Okay. They may not laugh like that. They might though. Um, it came out. See the stars here and see the stars here? They may have star tattoos. They may have, if it's a female, she may be wearing a headdress or earrings or something, a ring that has a star on it. If it's a male, it, they may too have um, like a, a square ring with a star in it. I don't know why I keep seeing that. Okay. Um, I'm also hearing they may have steampunk steampunk um something like a vest i'm feeling like a vest that's got filigrees on it or something it, it it's it's not a common clothing feature like it's something you would recognize but i mean like most people don't wear this anymore or it's just coming back into fashion and they're sent they're they're like a trendsetter Okay, they're very confident in who they are. They they have faith on their side. They have a deep abiding faith that they can manifest exactly what they're looking for. This person has connections. I will say that. They have good, strong connections. And that could be as simple as really good, strong family ties or um, business network connections. Or they could be uh, have a really awesome lineage, like they came from lords and ladies, okay? There's some sort of very strong, um, important, these are important connections. And again, there's something feeling like destiny in here. All right, so they may have blonde hair, reddish blonde hair. They may have a full-on beard of red um, Irish uh, coloring here. Their favorite colors may be in the muted uh, tones, okay? So like sage green, um, uh, oh, seafoam green, pale blues. Not It's not like a washed out or a baby blue, but a, a, a deeper slate, slate blue maybe. Um, if it's a red that they're wearing, it's not going to be like fire engine red. It'll be brick red. It'll be more muted, whatever it is. They may like to wear a lot of gold or rose gold jewelry. Or if they don't wear a lot of it, they at least have a piece or like a accessories that go together. So I'm seeing a woman with earrings, necklace, and a, maybe a watch or a bracelet that all have the same metal. I am seeing a man's watch with multiple time zones on it. But if it's not time zones, it's going to be different features. See, like, how far underwater they are. Um, blood pressure. I, I'm just getting, like, different types. So this, somebody could be wearing a fitness watch, but it's not going to look like a Fitbit. It's going to look like a watch. And it's going to have a lot of information. It may not even have, like, really, look at this. I am actually seeing a watch, not with all this gold around the outside, but like this. So there may not even be a clock face. That's a sundial there. Um, maybe that's what it has. Maybe it has a sundial on it. There's definitely really good, I mean, this person really, like, has 
good qualities. There's something really connected, down to earth, pentacle energy here. They have been through something in their past that taught them a lesson. And I don't feel like it was a horrible situation. I feel like they just learned a lesson early on about how to bring their reality to reality, what they want. So they're probably pretty good at manifesting, even if they don't know the term manifesting. They may be very good at creating what they want in their life, doing the things that they want. Some people are going to be like, oh, they're so lucky. And they may even consider themselves lucky. They may say, yes, I have luck on my side. I win every contest I enter. Or I never go without. Or I know somebody's protecting me. I don't get hurt. You know, whatever. Okay. They know that they have a connection. And they may not understand that connection, but they honor it. They honor it in some way. That's beautiful. All right. So what should you know about this person? Red flags or important aspects? Nine of cups. They're a very happy person. They create their own reality and they're not going to let downers into their life. So if you talk negative, if you want to complain about everything that's going on um, negative in your life, they're not going to be the person for you. Okay. Or they're going to say that they're going to think and feel that you are not the person for them. I don't see that being the case here. Most Libras, you don't wallow for long. Okay. You realize, you know, that you've got to get yourself out of whatever situation you're in. You move forward. Um, but this is somebody who's very happy and they've created their own happiness. Look, they may have a lot of wealth too. I, I did feel very strong connections to like old money for just a couple of them others they treasure life they treasure their happiness they respect it they honor it and they don't waste time they do not waste time on people that just drag them down even if the person is a super sweet nice person if all they do is talk about the negative things in their life they're not going to spend time with that person. They want they want to be surrounded by people who consider themselves lucky, blessed, joyful, happy. Go get them. Get go after what you want, okay? As I said, they may not even realize that they are creating this energy, but they are. 9 of cups is them doing this themselves. Success, happiness, um self-created, okay? Nobody handed this to them. They, well, it kind of in a way, uh, Spirit co-created it with them, but nobody just handed them what they have. They've earned what they've got, and they're happy with what their lot in life. So this is really, really good energy here. Let's go ahead. We're going to see what months may be of importance. I don't think we need to clarify uh, the message itself, so we'll get some oracle messages here. All right, so let's see what months might be of importance. This could be when you're going to meet this person. It could be their birth date. Um, it could be when you're going to attend this event, okay? Let's see what month or months, whatever comes out here, are going to be of importance to this relationship. Well, we got three of them. Look at this, the fall. And those fell out of here, okay? So you've got September, October, November. So in September, we have um, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and then that's it. All right, so Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, or Sag, okay? Um, September... If this is an outdoor event, okay, August, end of August, September, maybe when the fireflies are, are prevalent. October, you may meet them when you're doing something for your birthday. I'm getting when the leaves are changing in your area. So that could be early October. That might be late October. It might be the middle of the month. But it's going to be... Um, it could also be when you're celebrating your birthday. Not everybody has a birthday on October 1st, like my dad and my son do. <laughs> okay. And then you have November here. 
I'm hearing after the first frost. Or is it, yeah, it's after the first frost. So that would pertain to people who live up north in temperate situ or, um, yeah, in areas where the weather changes a lot, okay? Yeah, I'm definitely seeing this here. Different times for each of you. Now, like I said, their birthdays, September, could be Virgo or a Libra. They could also be a Scorpio or a Libra. They could also be a Scorpio or Sagittarius. It's going to be different for each of you. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here about what is the biggest benefit of this connection. Even if this doesn't last the rest of your life, what is the biggest benefit of this relationship? These cards are like, I don't know, they feel really tight. I don't know how else to put it. I want to make sure I've got all of them. Yep, I do. All right, well, two big benefits. Happiness, you are definitely going to enjoy this person, okay? And this will be for those who it is not long-term. You will be very, very happy with this relationship. You will feel blessed that you got to meet this person. All right, it's going to set your soul free. You're going to feel happier, more light, joyful. If this is a uh, long-term relationship, it could end in marriage, okay? Contracts, long-term relationship. I do feel that is for some of you. This, and not everyone is going to find themselves in this relationship for long term. Now, it may be a long, long time. Like, even the ones where I'm saying it's happiness, this may not, this is true love. This is absolutely true love, okay? But you have, if it's happiness that comes of this, it's you at some point realizing that you don't have to have a piece of paper to make you understand the connection. Okay, you appreciate the connection just the way it is. Others of you, you want that commitment. You want, you're want you still going to get the commitment here. But there's some that feel that that piece of paper makes all the difference in the relationship. And both you and that person will agree to that. If it's happiness, both you and that person that you are involved with will feel the same way. This is true love. Okay, all right. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and see what the uh, romance angels want to say about this relationship. Let's see what the romance angels want to tell you about this new, look at this new true love relationship. There is going to be time apart from a partner, okay? Now, some of you, it could be this new person. Others of you, I'm hearing uh, it could be somebody you are currently involved with. I don't feel like there's much of a relationship there. You may be in the process of moving on from it. And that's, you know, there's going to be a separation of time period where you're letting that person go before you meet this person. Now, some of you may meet this person and then there's going to be, excuse me, some sort of separation that comes down uh, the line eventually because they have to go do something or they're moving, whatever. There's going to be some sort of separation there. All right. So let's go ahead. It, but it's separation is not per permanent. It's just a temporary separation. All right, let's see what else the romance angels have to say. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine forth. Okay, that's what may be blocking you. Oh, this is also possibly what's blocking you since spirit has me putting it here. All right, this may be why you have not found uh, your true love yet. Because you're going through, like, you're just done with this relationship that you've been tied to. It doesn't even feel like a relationship. It's just like, um, nobody broke it off. 
Okay, you've moved away from each other mentally, emotionally, but neither one of you has said, uh, you know, let's move on. I don't know if there is even a need to. You don't want to ghost somebody, and I don't feel like either one of you, I, I just feel like you're drifted away from each other. All right, this says keep an open mind. Your person may be different. Your soulmate may be different, different from your usual type. Okay. So keep that in mind. Keep an open mind. Let spirit bring this person to you. Because if you do it, if you manifest properly, spirit will bring you the best option. Okay, what is for your highest good? Give your relationship a chance. Remember I said something about a friend at the beginning of this reading? Like where you've made a new acquaintance, but you aren't even putting in the effort to become friends, like learn more about them. You're, you just aren't spending any time with them. Could be, again, because you're working too hard or you're just not feeling it. Get to know this person, okay? Get to know that person. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Gilded Reverie Oracle has for you here. And it's funny because if this is somebody that you've already encountered, this event may be something that you do together. And that's when your eyes are opened, you're enlightened. This person says or does something at this event or the fact that they enjoy the same type of thing that you do. So this person may come to you and say, uh, somebody that you've recently met, okay? They may say, hey, I'm going to go check out this firefly thing do you want to go with me is that something you're interested in you're going to be like oh my gosh that is like so cool that they are into the same type of thing i am keep an open mind okay you may be this person may surprise you that way all right let's go ahead and see what we have here using the gilded reverie the lenormand gilded reverie what do you have to say here to our lovely libras Something about the fall, time of harvest. This is the night of um, pentacles. So something that you've been wanting, it's taken its time to grow, to get here, okay? It's about, to, you're about to reap the rewards of this. Oh my goodness, I have this tiny little bug who just keeps getting in my mouth and my face and my... Oh my goodness, I don't know where he went. I hit the table and he left. Good, don't come back. All right, let's see what else we have here. Tens are about completions and it's the end. It's like when you're harvesting, um, sitting back reaping the rewards. What is it? A fall time keeps coming through. We have September, October, November. So um, it take took time to grow, to develop. You have uh, 27 here, a letter. You will be receiving an invitation. That is exactly what's happening here. Some of you are going to receive an invitation or you're going to see an advertisement for this event and you will sign up for it. You will go to it and that will be where you meet your person. Again, somebody could come to you and say, hey, I'm going to do this. Would you? Do you want to try it? And you may at first be like, eh, go get out there and do something, okay? Get out there and do something different. Yeah, the puppy dog loyalty, faith, friendship, okay? Again, I'm getting friendly energy here. Oh, my goodness. We have 9, 9, and 10. 9, 9, and 9. What is that angel number in the book? That's the last one in my book because I don't have anything past $9.99. Fulfillment. Visualize what's next. The cycle of what you have been doing is reaching fulfillment. Look at I kept saying that with this with the sickle and the harvest. Um, okay. You are at the finish line of your goals, and it's time to start leveling up to visualize some new ones. What can you do to tie up any loose ends? All right. Explore this question today. 
So that was 999. We got to write that down so we do not forget. Where are we? All right. There we go. Loyalty, trust, though, fun times, dogs are playful. You've got playfulness over here with this card. So those are all crucial and key information. See, somebody may invite you to take you out. See how the dog's bringing you the leash? Take me out, okay? Somebody may be waiting for you to ask them. Oh, keep that in mind. Somebody may be waiting for you to invite them to do something. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Kipper deck has in store for you. Don't forget if this message is making sense to you, resonating with you, making you excited, or you just want to support this channel, please go ahead, tickle tap, boop, or zap that like button. Claim it in the comments, all right? I'm wishing you the very best, that's for sure. All right, we've got the card of occupation. While you are working on something, it could be a place of work, of creation, creativity. She's creating something here by sewing, okay? Pulling things together. Creating something new. 34 is a 7, which is... um. Something about luck. You got the Wheel of Fortune here. And what came out with it is card 16, which is also a 7. But it's about somebody, you've got somebody on your mind or they have you on their mind. Now it says thoughts. We have the Queen of Cups here and she looks very serene. She looks very, very peaceful. Okay. Meditation places. So this, again, a place of occupation would be a place where people provide services. Creative processes there. She's creating by sewing. He's creating by painting and dreaming. Double sevens there. Let's see what else comes out here. I'm about to sneeze. Hang on. All right, there was a big sneeze and then my phone went off. So let's go ahead and see what else the Kipper deck has here for you. Oh my goodness, you've got a message that you're going to receive great fortune. Main female, main character, okay? I do feel like there is divine feminine energy here. Um, this may be the person who introduces you to somebody else. This could be your own energy, you're, they're offering the love, rose of love. So again, it may be somebody that you're not expecting, but this does bring you very a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, okay? So you may be receiving an invitation, another seven. And that was the card on top, so technically I should be taking that. So we're going to take that. All right, let's see what the angel number book says with the 777. Wonderful things are about to happen for you, no doubt about that. I'm, I'm excited for you. Let's see what we have here. This says, face your fears, trust the divine. Your angels are asking you to release the fear of the unknown, to go ahead and trust the universe and give up your control of what's going to happen next. Your angels are telling you not to fear the future, but rather to embrace it with faith that it's all in your best interest. This is the perfect design in the... This is perfect in the design brought to you by your most trusted guardian angels. And I'll tell you, the theme for February is um, success, uh, facing your fears, embracing the changes, allowing things to happen for you. And when you do that, you have huge successes. Beautiful message there. Let's go ahead and see what else we've got for you. We're going to get you a spirit animal here. I am being called to get you um, an eternal crystal, too. Does somebody out there want uh, angel, angel, oh, angel answers. Okay, all right, we will do that. We have coyote revealer of the truth. Do not take things too seriously. Make time for fun. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly, okay? 
So you may bump into this person physically. That's kind of embarrassing, but just laugh about it and have fun, okay? Wisdom comes from that. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. Don't let things hold you back. Go with destiny. Allow things to happen. Let them flow. Have fun. Laugh at yourself. Not at others. Laugh at yourself. Never laugh at other people. Laugh with them, but not at them. All right. And we have the lynx. Keeper of secrets. Take time out from the world and be the observer. That's what you're going to be doing here. You're going to be taking time away from your life, doing something and watching to see what happens. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. So you're going to make a connection here with your intuition, with this person. You see other secrets and you know how to keep them. Okay, so maybe they made a faux pas. Your person that you're about to meet, maybe they did something. Laugh it off. Don't, don't even acknowledge it, okay? In silence and so solitude, in quiet, peaceful places is where you will find your strength. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Let me... Get your eternal crystal. What crystal is going to benefit you? Maybe this is what you need to keep in your pocket to bring this in to remind you to be happy, light, to do something fun and playful. Let's see what comes out here for you. Clear quartz, meditation. Look at this. Card 14, that's a five, and we all know that fives are about change, okay? Let's see what clear quartz has for you. I don't think you guys have gotten clear quartz since I started doing readings here on YouTube. I don't think that's come out once, maybe once. It's going to be a wonderful day for you to reconnect with who you are and what you would like to become. Your spirit guides and angels are trying to help you to connect with them. Ask them for help on any matter and listen for their response. A great way to tune in with them is by calming your mind and meditating. Go do that yoga. Go take that spa day. Go watch the uh, stars in the night sky. When you meditate or connect with spirit, it's important that you protect yourself physically. Just imagine, I'm sorry, psychically. Just imagine yourself surrounded by a bubble of white light and ask for protection from your spirit guides and your angels. When you meditate, you also connect with your higher self, which can assist you to live with greater purpose and make progress on your spiritual journey this lifetime. When you take time to develop a more conscious relationship with your higher self, you also tap into guidance from the wisest part of your being. You don't need to just sit still to meditate. There's other ways. You can do it by running, walking, swimming, or listening to music, watching the fireflies, getting out there. Oh my gosh, confirmation again. The important thing is that you take the time out to calm the mind and focus on the present moments. Remember also to re-energize yourself regularly with good food, exercise, fun, and a positive outlook on life. Oh my gosh. Confirmation through and through. All right. Let's see. I'm going to get you an angel number. Let's see what we've got here. Even though we've had two angel numbers, that other one was 777, I believe. Let me mark that down. Oh, my pen just ran out. Yeah, that was 777 right here. All right, exciting. This is exciting. I hope you're ready. I feel like you're going to be getting yourself ready. You're getting more playful. Give yourself a little bit of time, okay? Here it is. Oh, my gosh. I was just looking at the cards here, and I was like, did I write that down? The 999. Look at that, nine, 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 nine. Lessons have been learned. This is the ending, the culmination, that 10, the harvesting time, results, the benefits, time to reflect, meditate, and completions. 
Take stock of your accomplishments and how you arrived at them because this is a reminder to maintain optimism and drive and passion toward your goals. Maintain your momentum and understand that the powers of heaven have your back. You are about to arrive and receive the reward that you are seeking. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then you have 12-12, persistence. you got shift, enthusiasm, gratitude, contentment, the nine of cups, new experiences. Love this. Oh, happy day. An ample opportunity related to your life is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards for you. Beautiful. Let us go ahead and see what we've got on the letter die. Maybe your person's name or where you'll meet them. Vance, Vaughn, Wendy, Winona, William, James, Jane, Jill, June, Tanisha, Hannah, Buddy, Becky, Bowen, Brown, Zed, Zachary, Ned, Noah, I'm sorry, I could not even hear what they were saying. Okay, got a wild, we got a wild, wild one. That song may be playing when you meet this person. If you hear that song, pay attention. All right, Catherine, Cable, that doesn't sound right. It, it's a guy's name, but it's not Cable, something like that. Uh, Chubby Chick. Chase, Kara, Clark, Jace, Dean, Dan, Debbie, Brenda, Bradford, Brad, Brendan, Ohio, Colorado, New Hampshire, White, Killian, Ian, Iago. Oh, that may be a play that you're going to go see. <laughs> Excuse me. Fagan, Fanny, Bonnie. Connie, Don, DJ, Keegan, Kangaroo, maybe a zoo, Patrick, Payden, Aiden, Westerly, Lee, BJ, Ohio, Chantel, Darcy, Docs, D O C K S, Docs. I'm seeing cruise ships, large ships, fishing piers. Abby, Diane, Digman, okay, that's what I've got for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this message. If you have, please tickle tap, boopers tap the like button, claim it in the comments. If you'd like a personal reading, please email me, that information is below. Love you guys to pieces.